Hello everyone, this is Delaroy Studios. You're welcome to another episode of Android Programming and we'll be looking at the integration of the Google sign-in into your mobile application, into Android uh, mobile application. No, we'll be talking about your Google ID, which you use for your Gmail, your YouTube, uh, your AdSense, uh, your AdMob and some other Google uh, platforms. Okay. The Google sign-in is a secure authentication system that reduces the burden of login for you for your users by enabling them in signing in with their Google account, the same account they already use with Gmail, Google Play, Google Plus, and other Google services. Google sign-in is also your gateway to connecting with Google's users and services in a secure manner. You can give your users the opportunity to pay with Android Pay Share with their Google Wild contacts, save a file to drive, and an event to gal calendar, and more. You can also integrate Google's user-centric APIs and services inside your app to help your users take actions and convert. Okay, uh, we'll also be looking. Okay, uh, without much ado, uh, we'll be able to understand what the Google sign-in actually means. So before you can actually uh code up uh the google sign in into your android application you will need the auth protocols the authority protocols which is the zero the oauth 2.0 okay uh before you can get that uh zero the zero auth uh id or credentials ready you need to uh, assess the console.developer.google.com where you're going to create a project you're going to uh Create the credentials of the project based on the O art concept screen, and you're going to get your client ID. So I'll be taking you straight to my Google Chrome, which is uh my web browser where I have actually uh visited the console.developers.google.com. Uh, okay, in my uh drop down list here, if you noticed, uh, I've actually created a project. So you're gonna create a project called Google Sign In. Okay, in this project called Google Sign In. Uh, you're going to have your credentials okay and your credentials are very important you create a credentials uh, and also you're going to go to the the OAuth concept screen you know we actually need to activate the OAuth concept so you're going to fill in this based on your email the, the name of the product in question and also probably if you have the logo ready and some other functionality so you click on your save once you click on your save it's going to generate uh, your client ID and also uh, your client key which is the secret key okay uh, you move back to your credentials okay uh, now if you notice you have your name called Google sign in web uh, I created in May 17 2016 and there is going to be a type it's going to have you actually which type of application are you actually going to create on we are going to create a web application because you need your web server you know client ID in your Android application so when you get to this step while creating the OAuth consent, can they pick web application? Don't go for Android or don't go for iOS at now because you need a server. You know, that's where we need a client ID from our web application server. With that, it's going to create a client ID for you where you're going to have it. So you can easily copy out your client ID. You copy it out carefully and you save it in a notepad so that you can be able to access it. Because this client ID will be used in the second part of this tutorial where we are going to be dashing straight to the Android Studio to code up this integration. Uh, catch me up in my next part, which is going to be the part two of the integration of the Google sign-in into your Android application. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Stay hang on to this channel for the second part, which is going to be the concluding edition of this particular wonderful integration. Thank you very much for listening. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Please hang on for the second part. Bye-bye for now.